Hey guys, I'm back. Um, it's Journeyman. Riding around Auburn again. Um, just finished getting gas. Got about 35 miles a gallon in that last tank. It's not too bad. But yeah, I figured I'd uh, talk about why I chose a Supermoto. Yeah, this is a, it was a really clear decision for me when, when I was looking around for a second bike or the next bike I was gonna get from that dual sport. Uh, I also used to ride dirt bikes that uh, I just, I figured I'd stick with it. And uh, I was looking at the, the cost of sport bikes. I had a friend that just, just as recently had something go bad on a sport bike. I think his radiator blew up or something, I don't know. And uh, it was just a pain. I was helping him fix it and uh, was taking all the fairings off and stuff. And it was just irritating. I just decided that wasn't for me. And because uh, I worked on that, that old, that first bike I had a lot. And it was easy to get to, easy to work on everything. It was just cheap little plastics everywhere that you had to work around. And I mean, it wouldn't cost you a fortune to replace the plastics on it if they all broke. The sport bike is like 400 or more dollars if you bust up your plastics. I'm not gonna deal with that. I'm a poor college student, they're gonna afford that kind of stuff. So, I bought a DRZ because of uh, another moto vlogger, Jake the Garden Snake. He had one uh, as a pretty much the same bike I have right now. Um, so his was like an 01, I believe. Uh, no, not an 01, I don't know, it was, it was an older model, I have an 06, and it, uh, it does the job, I love it. Um, but yeah, I mean, I just, I, another reason I got it was just because of the reliability and just the, I guess the, the rawness of the motorcycle. I don't know, there's, there's nothing superfluous about it. It's all here for a reason, not for looks or nothing. Like all the plastics are there for a reason to protect stuff. They're tough, they're not brittle. You can bend them around, it doesn't even matter. And uh, and you're good, you're good to go. You don't have to worry about stuff breaking and costing a fortune. Um, another reason I got it is just because uh, just crashability. Um, you can crash it, you totally crash it and it's just fine. I mean, you may twist up the, the triples a little bit, but you can fix that no matter of, you know, a 10 minute period, you know, some ratchets and stuff, you're, you're good to go. Uh, it's just so easy to fix, so easy to work on. And uh, parts are easy to come by as well. The DRZ's been the same for years. Uh, I don't know when the last time it changed, but it's been a long time. Um, I mean, I, they did do a few changes. Uh, I know the E model definitely. Um, with the uh, in 06, I believe it was they they swapped the the Cuny, I believe, it was a, a BSR carburetor, the 36 millimeter. They swapped that in for the in place of the uh, flat slide, the 39 millimeter K, and um, which I'm running right now. Uh, which kind of sucks because this carburetor does wonders. It's, it's so much better than that old uh, that old McCuny. Um But I, I guess they did that just for riding it on the road, uh, road use and stuff. I don't know. I don't know why they did it. But they pretty much detuned it when they did that. So that's I'm not a I'm not a worker for Suzuki, so I can't say anything about that. But I don't know the exact reasoning. But uh, anyways, I digress. Um, anyways, parts, parts, parts. All the parts. Parts are easy to come by. I love it. Like I'm on Thumper Talk looking for something. I just say I need blah blah blah, and then like an hour later, almost. I mean, maybe a day later. I'll go with that. A day later, I can get a reply back from somebody saying they have it in their garage somewhere, and they just need to get rid of it. So uh, yeah, I mean it's, it's just stuff like that. And I don't think you can find a more reliable dual sport than a DRZ. And I've. Uh, 
I've heard stories of guys just running these things for years and years without even replacing the top end on them. And uh, I mean, I've read mine, I got mine with uh, 4,000 miles on it. And I've run this thing all the way up to 10 grand. Uh, but the exact mileage is 10,155.8 miles. Has had zero hiccups, and that's with a single cylinder thumper. So I'm I'm really pleased with it compared to the other dirt bikes out there that go full sports, especially like KTM's and stuff. I mean, you still got to measure the engine use in hours. That just blows my mind. I'd have to rebuild the freaking top end after a month. I ride so much. I don't have that kind of money to throw at a motorcycle. So DRZ for the win, people. Get one. Love it, I promise. Let's see, well, I'm gonna take a left here and show you the rideability and funness factor of a DRZ Supermoto. Yeah, I mean, it gets up to speed pretty quick. It's not too bad. If you're gonna compare it to a sport bike, just get out of here. It's not a sport bike. It's a supermoto. So just get out if you're gonna freaking compare it to a uh, sport bike. Because you can't. You can't! There's nothing similar about it. Other than it has two wheels and it kinda goes fast. But yeah, another reason I got it is just because it's so versatile. The thing just it, you can take it anywhere. I mean, right now I'm about to ride it down a dirt road with zero problems. Uh, I say that now. Uh, zero problems, hopefully. So we'll uh, see how that comes out. But zero problems riding on dirt or asphalt. I mean, it's fun on either either surface. It's just different. If you think you're going to be riding like dirt bike style in the dirt, you don't need a supermoto. Here's my turn. Um, yeah, just a uh, simple dirt roads like this, it can handle super easy. I mean, yeah, I mean, it's, it's just like a little dirt gravel road kind of thing, like pea gravel. I mean, it's not much. So it's, dang, I'm destroying this road. And the, the forest, geez, what are they doing? Anyways, uh, yeah, I mean, it's fun on the road, fun on the dirt. I ride this thing in the dirt a lot, too, just just because it's, I don't know, the dirt's there, and I can have fun on it either way. I mean, riding with slicks is totally different. So if you're not used to it, you, get, you need to. You need to get used to it before you try to romp on it hard in the dirt, because you'll kill yourself, especially with the braking in the corners and stuff. Totally different. You gotta take it a little bit easier. Um, Especially on these gravel roads and stuff. You don't have that big 21 inch wheel like on the full size big boy bikes and stuff. And, uh, you know. Yeah, riding on the road's fun too. I mean, you can get that super, super moto lean going. I mean, you're dragging a foot peg and all this nonsense. I mean, you. You can have a lot of fun with this thing if you just know how to ride it and know what you actually have. As long as you ride it like a supermoto, you'll have a lot of fun. If you try riding like a sport bike, you'll hate it. That's the thing. This is it's gotta be your kind of ride. If not, you're gonna totally dislike it all the time. You're gonna wish you had a sport bike. If you're just one of those guys that wants to go fast and be a squid all day. So just remember that guys. But if you're awesome like me and you love riding everything and you just don't care, get one of these, get a Supermoto. And if you just have no money like me, get a DRZ because everything's cheap. I mean, you can you can trick it out and whatever, but it's, eh, it is what it is. You're tricking out a, a bike that's not, I don't know. I wouldn't say it's not worth that much, but you can get much nicer bikes to trick out and spend money on if you really you're into that kind of thing. 
So, but it is what it is. It's your thing, your bike. I can't tell you what to do with it and what you can't. So, I mean, I've seen some some sexy DRZs out there, but they're just it's it's nothing like a a supermoto, like a, one of those. I don't know, like a CRF 450 supermoto or a KTM 525 or whatever, whatever they make now. There's nothing like those. You're not going to have the same power right out of the box. You got to do quite a bit of mods to it. So, but if you're looking for a reliable, this is the bike. This is definitely the bike for you. Uh, yeah, I mean, if you got any questions about it, post them in the comments below. If you want to shoot me a message, inbox me, whatever. Talk to me about it. Uh, I'll be more than happy to talk to you. Um, if you have any questions about my mods specifically, I can tell you about installation, fitment, whatever, of the parts I have. Um, I mean, I'm by no means an expert, so don't don't think that. But. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I just love bikes, love riding this, it's a lot of fun. Can't go wrong with Supermoto, guys. I'll see y'all in the next video. If you like the video, do me a favor, subscribe. I need some more people. Thanks, guys.